So we're going to graph a few and inequalities. First we have x is greater than 2, so let's graph a 2 on here. Open or closed circle. Open. And what direction does the graph go? Right. To the right. X is less than or equal to 5, so we're going to put a 5 on here. Open or closed circle? Close. Closed, and it goes to the yeah. left. So when we graph those two together as compound inequality, that's what this one is, where we're combining X is greater than 2 and X is less than or equal to 5. So this one down here is our compound inequality where we have two and we have five. The two has an open circle. The five has a closed circle. And the line only goes between them. What this means is any number that's greater than 2 and goes up to and including 5 would make this compound inequality true. That's what we're graphing when we are showing when we graph that. So now let's try with the ors. We're going to do each part of the or first. And ors typically have arrows going off in separate directions where they don't meet. Although we have seen in some occasions, they can overlap and go in the same direction. We have y is less than or equal to negative 2, so put your negative 2 on there. And it's a closed circle because it's less than or equal to with the arrow going to the left. y is greater than 1, with an open circle going to the right. And now we're going to do the compound inequality where we're putting them together. We have negative 2 and we have 1. And we're going to repeat what we showed up here. Negative 2 going left. Positive 1 open circle and going to the right. So that's what our inequalities would look like when we do the compound. Okay. We're going to open it up, and this is where I'm talking. We're going to start talking about the language. I'm going to do two of these with you, and then I want you guys as a group to do the other four, although I will leave mine complete one up here so you can come and check it. So for the written statement in words, I'm thinking of a number that is greater than negative 8 and less than or equal to 4. I'm going to remind you of, in your notebook, you have the resource that folds out with language on it and the symbols, the one that looks like this. <coughs> these here can help when you're trying to figure these ones out. Is this one an and or an or? And. Where do you see the and? And. Right Whoa. here. <laughs> <laughs> We want to write our inequality. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see it. A number that is greater than negative 8. So we would write that as x is greater than negative 8. And x, that's the number, is less than or equal to 4. So on our graph, we're going to show the negative 8 
and we're going to show the four. We're going to circle them both. Only one of them gets filled in. Which one? The four. And because we're saying greater than negative eight, less than or equal to four, our line goes between to show this as an and inequality. And we don't need to, but I'd like us, because this is our examples, to rewrite this with just a single X in the middle. The one on the right stays the same because the X is on the left. But in this case, we're gonna have to flip the symbol to get this negative eight here. Okay? So this reads as negative eight is less than X, which is less than or equal to four. Take a look at the second descriptor in words. I'm thinking of a number that is at most zero or at least two. What's our keyword here? We do have an or. I want you guys to look at that fold out. When it says at most, what kind of symbol are we looking at? At most, say that again, is less than or equal to. Notice what I've done over here. I've set these up so I can just fill in the symbol once I figure it out. I know I want my x on the left, and my one of them is going to be with 0, or x is something and 2. We now know that at most means less than or equal to. And then what about at least? greater than or equal to. So we're going to graph 0 and 2. Both of these are going to be filled in. And the arrow coming from the 0 is going to go to the left. And the arrow for the 2 is going to the Right. Okay. Um, I want to go back to the first one I didn't highlight. We talked about the language because I would like you guys to be highlighting the language as we go through this. Okay. So this is what I want it to look like. You guys can have conversations about it you can come and check mine but as a table group i'd like you to finish the last four. First question is an and or an or do the written inequality and then do the graphing are we good okay